Today we're going to work talk about the logarithmic function and the logarithmic function it's um, a special function uh, related with the exponential function. So uh, in order to know what a logarithmic function works, uh, we need to uh, know what a logarithm is. And a logarithm is um, it's an exponent. So you we used logarithms for um, in order to do um, to express uh, operations with numbers that are very very big or numbers that are very very small because the the logarithms can as, as they are exponents they respond to the uh, same laws of exponents so uh, some examples of uh, what what do we use logarithms for are sound uh, for example the decibel measures earthquakes the richter scale is a logarithmic number the bright the brightness of stars and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uses in chemistry like the ph balance and uh, the measure of acidity and alkalinity in some elements uh, so the logarithm basically it's an exponent and the definition is the logarithm of a number is the exponent that indicates the power to which a base must be raised to produce a given number so for example in this case we have a an exponential notation on the on the left hand side and then you have a logarithmic notation so 2 to the 3 is equal to 8 and in a logarithmic expression it is equals to 3 which is 3 is the logarithm to the base 2 of 8 so if you elevate 2 to the exponent 3 you will get 8 so in the logarithmic notation you always have the x the base of the logarithmic as a sub index of the word logarithm so what i want you to do is in your note please uh, fill out these spaces and also these spaces uh, just for me to know that you understand okay and this is uh, the comparison of the exponential function with the logarithmic function the exponential function, the function passes through the point 0, 0,1 and 1, 1,8. And the logarithmic function is a way, uh, in a certain way, is the opposite or the inverse function of the logarithmic function. So if you have, um, if you understand it like this way, instead of passing through the point 0, 0,1, the logarithmic function will pass always for the point 1, 0,0. And instead of passing through the point one comma the base, the logarithmic function will pass through the point the base comma one. It is also a uh, increasing function when a is um, a whole number bigger than one, but the instead of having the asymptote in the horizontal, it has an asymptote in the vertical point. Okay, so x equals to zero. It's always the the asymptote. Of course, you can have translations. So vertical translations are uh, with the with the constant c according to the sign. So this constant c will move upwards or downwards with the same sign. If it is three, it will move three units up. If it is two, it will move two units down. And horizontal translation opposite to the sign are inside the argument of the logarithmic function. And the last thing that I want to I want to show you in this video is the three principal properties of logarithms, and they are very very related with the the laws of exponents. So if you can remember, the first rule of exponents says that if you have the same the same base, and it is multiplying, if you multiply the bases with different exponents, the exponents are sum. So in this case, if you have an exponent that is a sum or you have the logarithm to the base B of a product, that is, you can divide the, uh, the expression into the logarithm of the first plus the logarithm of the second. And on the second, the second rule, it is related to the rule of exponent that says that if you divide one uh, expression with the same base, to other expression, the result will be the subtraction, the same base uh, elevated to the subtraction of the two. So in this case, if you have the logarithm 
to the base B of uh, division, that is, that will be the logarithm to the base B of M minus the logarithm to the, the, logarithm to the base B of N. And finally, uh, the rule that we're using is the rule that says that if you elevate some uh, expression to a, to, a to a product of two exponents or to a power, the result is the product of those two. So in this case, the uh, uh, result of a uh, logarithm to the base V of M to the N, it is equals to N as a product times the logarithm to the base V of M. And I'm going to finish this video with uh, some exercises that the Alex will give you. So in this case, what you have to, uh, to answer is what is the exponent to which if I elevate six, I will obtain six. And that result is one, because if you elevate six to the one, you will obtain six. And in this case, what is the exponent to which you, if you elevate four, you will obtain one over 64. And the exponent is negative three, because that will be one over four to the three and four to the three, it is equals to 64. So it is negative three. Then you have to uh, use the using the properties obtain this. And as you can see, if you have the logarithm to the base eight of 11 minus the logarithm to the base eight of nine, you have the logarithm to the base eight of 11 over nine or of 11 nines. Uh, because of the formula that says uh, that the logarithm of a uh, quotient it is equals to the subtraction of the logarithms. So these functions, as I can show you, these functions works from one direction or the other direction. So you can do it, use them this way, but also you can use them this way. So in this exercise, they are giving you the subtraction and you are using it in order to um, complete it uh, in the other or in the other uh, direction. In this case, you have the logarithm to the base four of seven plus the logarithm to the base four of, and you are asked to obtain this, and the result is 70, 77. So basically you have to think what is the number that if you multiply times seven, you will obtain 77 and that, dumb, that number will be 11. And Basically, uh, this, you can say this, or you can rewrite this as the logarithm to the base two of five square. So this will be two times the logarithm to the base two of five. Uh, in this case, you have to evaluate the that logarithmic expression. So one thing you, you can do is use the uh, properties of logarithms to uh, reduce those expressions and then use your calculator. So this first exercise, exercise A, we can solve it without a calculator because the logarithm, the natural logarithm of e to the three is the exponent to which we have to elevate e in order to obtain e to the three. So this first exponent is clearly three. So this will be five, five times three plus, and the natural logarithm of e to the six, it is six. So this will be five times three, 15 plus six, 21. The result will be 21. And in this case, we have to do, use the, sec, the property of logarithm that, said that, that says that the logarithm with to the base five of a subtraction, it is equals to three over 75. So this will be the logarithm to the base five of 0 0.04. And then you can use the calculator in order to obtain that. But my result, it will be negative two. Uh, another uh, thing that we can use is in order to expand the logarithms, we can use the properties of logarithms. So if it is the, the logarithm of a quotient, you can say this as the logarithm of x cubed minus the logarithm of the denominator. And you can also use this exponent as a factor. So you will have three times the logarithm of X 
minus the logarithm of z. And we are expanding the same expression. And the same, we can do this as uh, the cubic root of that. It's an exponent. Actually, we can see this as one third of the logarithm of x to the 7 plus the logarithm of c minus the logarithm of y squared. So this will be 1 third times 7 logarithm of x plus one third of the logarithm of z because this one third remember that it will multiply every term and then minus one third times two oh i'm sorry i'm sorry one third times two the logarithm of y so this will be at the end seven thirds of the logarithm of x plus one third of the logarithm of z minus two thirds of the logarithm of y. And what we are using is just the three properties of logarithms that we saw at the beginning. And I didn't have space to do this, but I will do it at the end of the video if you want. And in this case, it's just using the opposite. Instead of uh, reducing or expanding, we have to now write expression as a single logarithm. So this over here, that is a subtraction. You can write it as two logarithm of b y plus, I'm going to write this subtraction as a quotient. So this will be the logarithm to the base b of w over c square and then i'm going to write this as a power so this will be the logarithm to the base b of y square plus the logarithm to the base b of w over c square and as this is a product and the base is the same we can say this is equals to the logarithm to the base b of and the product of y square times w over c squared and that will be your final answer and this is very important uh, to change the ba base of any logarithm uh, you have a formula so let me write the formula over here so the logarithm to the base b of a it is equals to you can use a common logarithm and it is always the first uh, over the the logarithm of the base or you can use also a natural logarithm so the logarithm to the base b of a it is equals to natural logarithm of a over natural logarithm of b so in this case uh, because some of some of your calculators won't uh, have the logarithm to the base three some others will have it but you can change this to log a common logarithm of seven over a common logarithm of three and you can use this, you can use your calculator. So uh, in this case, your calculator will be in this in this calculator, you have to write the argument first. So it is seven log or logarithm of seven over uh, three log, depending on your calculator. Sometimes you have to write the the seven first, but that is uh, going to be 1.77. So this is equals to 1.70. Oh, it says round your answer to a thousand. So it will be 77, 77, one, seven, seven, one. So these two formulas are the formulas for change of base. You can use any log. This log is a common log and this is a natural log. It doesn't matter uh, which one of you uh, use. Actually, you have the two of them on your calculator. And then you have um, basically an equation, a logarithmic equation. So 
I think we are going to let the equation for the next video. So it, this is not going to be so, so uh, long. Okay, that will be, uh, that will be the video for today.